Hey Christian, it's Alex here. We're out here at Escondido just looking at some more properties with Jody and Carlos. So I'm going to take a little video for you so you can see some of the homes that we're looking at. This is the first one. Um, it's located here on a cul-de-sac. It's a really nice neighborhood. Um, it's a pretty quiet street. This is the front. Your neighbor. Three car garage. This is the neighbor on the other side, so let's go inside. Side gate. Needs a lot of cosmetic repairs. Let's see. Looks like the entry, the dining area. Oops. Kitchen. Missing appliances. The cover plates are off. There's Jody. <laughs> Any, anything you want to tell Christian? Um, that the backyard is actually kind of cool. That the pool takes up space, but below the deck, that's all green space under there. Maybe with some different landscaping that we you could have a more yard and more yard and then do something different with this deck because there's all this goes. What do you think of the freeway noise? There's a lot of traffic, a lot of noise. Yeah. So that would be a negative. It's very close. To the 15 freeway is right there. You can it's running north and south. Can't really see it, but you can hear it. I guess you can see cars go by there. That pool is really full. It is very full. It's kind of weird. But it doesn't, I don't know a lot about pools, but it doesn't look too, it needs to be cleaned, obviously. Yeah, it doesn't look like it has any major issues. Do your dogs like the water? We kind of said no because of the maintenance, but um, who knows? Maybe if it was in decent shape, we would maybe use the pool. And if there was still enough space for the dogs. We just don't want the castle. You could create a, you know, a little walkway that goes down underneath there that dogs can get to pretty easily. And Is the side yard, little shed, pool equipment. Let's go inside. So we've got a three car garage in here. Pretty straightforward. Got a small little uh, living room off the kitchen area here. Lots of tile throughout this house. And you've got the entry, another fireplace, the dining area. And upstairs here, carpets need to be replaced. Doesn't make sense. It is rough up here. It is. I don't know what happened here. Oh my god. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I think Jody, Jody 
pretty much said it all. This is the worst flooring I've ever seen. Any other houses look like that? Who do you want your dogs to walk on there? No. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's, uh, the flooring is pretty bad. It's also, gosh, this is weird. But if this could be changed a little to have that be like this is the master the bedroom. Because this is the only closet for the master. And it has a kind of a second oh, bedroom gosh, off the master bedroom. That bad was pretty bad. Come on, the shower's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. You can take a shower. In you know, you'd almost uh, be better off to just uh, this walk. Yeah, that's uh, a little dirty. So, is how many bedrooms? This one is uh, four bedrooms, two bedrooms. Is so that you consider this a bedroom? Yeah, we're looking at okay. this as one of the bedrooms. So, here's you'd end up with one bedroom. of the four bedrooms. Three, two and a half baths. The window to the front. Then we've got the second bedroom here. Oh, Looks like someone died in this room. It does. There's like splatter on the walls. It does look like someone died. When you wanted some cosmetic repairs, it's just cosmetic. <laughs> right. Oh boy. Keep Christian busy. Yeah, this is going to be his job. <laughs> Oh boy. So there's four bedrooms upstairs, living room, dining area, family room, kitchen, decent size backyard with a pool. I think that's about it for this home, but anything you want to add? There's a bedroom or a bathroom back there. Full size washer dryer. He would really like the garage. Yeah, I was. I'd like the garage too. This is from 2000, so when that was installed. You got a water softener over there. And I think the air conditioner has seen better days. Yeah, I did. I, I was out in front earlier okay. and took some video, so I think that's about it for over here. And hold on, I didn't really give the specs on this foot. What is this? So it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, that's 1,706 square feet, built in 88, and it's currently listed at 304. So, all right, off to the next property.